Good day everyone, I'm Mamshi Roxanne and welcome to my channel. This is Technology for Teaching and Learning 2 for Language Education. We will talk about the learning plans in the context of the 21st century. At the end of this episode, the students are expected to discuss the salient features of the K-12 curriculum requiring ICT pedagogy integration skills, determine the importance of activities that develop digital citizenship in the development of the 21st century skills among learners. First, we discuss the K-12 curriculum framework. The salient features of the K-12 curriculum have been thoroughly considered to ensure that all the courses in the teacher education program will meet the demands of the 21st century classrooms. Strengthening Early Childhood Education or Universal Kindergarten With the Universal Kindergarten program of the department, every Filipino child is expected to have access to early childhood education. This access can be facilitated using technological tools that are readily available to the school for teachers' use. The use of technology in kindergarten by various schools is very evident in teaching the kindergarten pupils the alphabet, numbers, shapes, and colors through games, songs, and dances in their mother tongue. Making the curriculum relevant to learners, contextualization, and enhancement. Common questions that students ask in school are, Will this lesson be useful in my everyday life? Uh, how will I use this lesson in my actual workplace? Or how could this lesson be useful or important to me? Briggs in 2014 shared some few tips for making learning engaging and personally relevant. First, use suspense and keep it fresh. Drop hints about a new learning unit before you reveal what it might be. Leave gaping pauses in your speech, change sitting arrangements, and put up new and relevant posters and displays. All this can activate emotional signals and keep student interest piqued. Make it student-directed. Give students a choice of assignments on a particular topic or ask them to design one of their own. When students are involved in designing the lesson, they better understand the goal of the lesson and become more emotionally invested in and attached to the learning outcomes. Connect it to their lives and to what they already know. Taking the time to brainstorm about what students already know and would like to learn about a topic helps them to create goals. This also helps teachers to see the best points of departure for new ideas. Making cross-circular connections also helps solidify those neural loops. Provide utility value. Utility value provides relevance first by picking students and by telling them the content is important to their future goals. It then continues by showing or explaining how the content fits into their plans for the future. This helps students realize the content is not just interesting but also worth knowing. Build relatedness. Relatedness, on the other hand, answers the question, what have these do with me? It is an inherent need students to feel close to the significant people in their lives, including teachers. Relatedness is seen by many as having non-academic and academic sides. Building proficiency. Mother tongue-based multilingual education. To be able to promote the child's dominant language and to use it as a language of instruction, maximum use of technological tools is highly encouraged. Mother tongue is used in instruction and learning materials of other learning areas. The learners retain their ethnic identity, culture, heritage, and values. Children learn better and are more active in class and learn a second language even faster when they are first taught in a language they understand. Ensuring integrated and seamless learning or the spiral progression. Learning basic concepts that lead to a more complex and sophisticated version of the general concepts entail TPAC, technological knowledge, pedagogical knowledge, and content knowledge. 
Rediscovering concepts previously presented as students go up in grade level will be fully supported if all the areas of specialization will be aided by technologies for teaching and learning. This will further strengthen retention and will enhance mastery of topics and skills as they are revisited and consolidated time and again. This also allows learners to learn topics and skills appropriate to their developmental and cognitive skills. Gearing up for the future the K-12 curriculum in Seward's College Readiness by aligning the core and applied courses to the College Readiness Standards or CRS and the new General Education or GE curriculum. Hence, the K-12 curriculum focused on developing appropriate specialization subjects for the academics, sports, arts and design, and technical vocational livelihood tracks. All of these specialization subjects have to be supported by educational technology for better learning. The following are important points to consider in identifying and understanding teachers' roles as curriculum designers. The most important person in the curriculum implementation process is the teacher. With their knowledge, experiences, and competencies, teachers are central to any curriculum development effort. Better teachers support better learning because they are most knowledgeable about the practice of teaching and are responsible for introducing the curriculum in the classroom. Curriculum is planned interaction of pupils with instructional content, materials, resources, and processes for evaluating the attainment of educational objectives. Curriculum is content, but when contextualized, it comes alive for students. The role of teachers in the curriculum process is to help students develop an engaged relationship with the content. Active learning increases the focus and retention of the curriculum, resulting in an exciting learning environment. Teachers, on their part, have practical knowledge based on their daily work with students. This knowledge is useful to curriculum committees because teachers can assess whether the ideas being developed will work in the classroom. ICT Pedagogy Integration and Language Learning Plans Integrating Technology in Instruction According to John Pisapia in 1994, integrating technology with teaching means the use of learning technologies to introduce, reinforce, supplement, and extend skills. For example, if a teacher merely tells a student to read a book without any preparation for follow-up activities that put the book into a pedagogical context, the book is not integrated. In the same way, if the teacher uses the computer to reward children by allowing them to play a game, the computer is not integrated. On the other hand, integrating technology into curricula can mean different things. First, computer science courses computer-assisted instruction, and or computer-enhanced or enriched instruction. 2. Matching software with basic skill competencies. And 3. Keyboarding with word processing followed up with presentation tools. International Society for Technology in Education, or the ISTE. Effective integration of technology is achieved when students are able to select technology tools to help them obtain information in a timely manner, analyze and synthesize the information, and present it professionally. The technology should become an integral part of how the classroom functions, as accessible as all other classroom tools. According to Kiyun Wang and Wiley Tu in 2007, integrating information and communication or ICT into teaching and learning is a growing area that has attracted many educators' efforts in recent years. Based on the scope of content covered, ICT integration can happen in three different areas, curriculum, topic, and lesson. Bernard Bahati in 2010 explained that the process of integrating ICT in teaching and learning has to be done at both pedagogical and technological levels with much emphasis put on pedagogy. ICT integration into teaching and learning has to be underpinned by sound pedagogical principles. 
According to UNESCO, ICT integration is not merely mastering the hardware and software skills. Teachers need to realize how to organize the classroom to structure the learning tasks so that ICT resources become automatic and natural response to the requirements for learning environments in the same way as the teacher used markers and whiteboards in the classroom. ICT includes all the full range of computer hardware, computer software, and telecommunications facilities. ICT is a diverse set of technological tools and resources used to communicate, create, disseminate, store, and manage information. These technologies include hardware devices, software applications, internet connectivity, broadcasting technologies, and telephony. ICT is a diverse set of technological tools and resources used to transmit, store, create, share, or exchange information. These technological tools and resources include computers, the internet, website, blogs, and emails, live broadcasting technologies like radio, television, and webcasting, recorded broadcasting technologies like podcasting, audio, and video players, and storage devices, and telephony like fixed or mobile, satellite, visual video conferencing, etc. ICT influence every aspect of human life. They play salient roles in workplaces, businesses, education, and entertainment. ICTs are seen as catalysts for change that include change in working conditions, handling and exchanging information, teaching methods, learning approaches, scientific research, and in accessing information, communication technologies. Take note that with the current situation in the country, educational platforms like integration of technology in the blended learning and the like have been embraced by the basic and higher education institutions. All the computer skills are integrated in the education programs to prospective teachers. Trainings are still needed to ensure smooth delivery of instruction. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye!